Welcome back to News 46. Sally Kerr from the Prompt Valley Chamber of Commerce gives a summary of the upcoming Fall Festival Parade and Rodeo next month. Fall Festival is going to be here before we know it. It is September 24th through the 27th, wow. the last full weekend in September. And what comes along with Fall Festival? Well, we start with uh, Thursday night being 5 to 10 o'clock. That used to be the preview night when you would go down and, and try out the rides to make sure they'd put them together well. Yeah. But now we've added stage time, and that the stage actually runs all night on Thursday, too. A lot of people call that night like locals night. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that's a fun night to go down. And then we, of course, so the carnival comes along with it. We have rodeo on Friday night and Saturday night. And then we have, throughout the whole, the whole event, uh, live entertainment. We've got the beer gardens. We've got all of the vendors. We've got the arts and crafts. Um, we've typically have the 4-Hers um, come with yeah. lots of their animals. Yeah, those are lots of fun to see those live animals out there. And Davis Amusement's going to bring in that whole entire carnival that they always bring in, which uh, just really attracts people. Yeah, the carnival is, of course, a big part of Fall Festival, and the Davis Amusement does a fabulous job of getting us what we need and a nice balance of little ones' rides and older ones' rides and puts together a great carnival. So Thursday night goes on from 5 to 10? That's right. Thursday night is from 5 to 10. Sa um, Friday and Saturday are from 11 to midnight. And then Sunday we'll begin with a community worship service at 9 in the morning. Mm -hmm. The festival opens at 11 and it's done at 5. And then there's also a parade in there somewhere, right? And then Saturday morning is a parade at 9 o'clock. So it kicks off right at 9, ends up at Boot Hill, and then the park opens after the parade arrives. And uh, the parade, the road's going to be shut down uh, probably about an hour beforehand. So people need to arrive early, find their spots, bring some chairs. Right, for sure, yeah, because the road is closed down for probably... 45 minutes to an hour beforehand, and some of those back streets into the staging area even before that. Yeah. So. And the parade lasts quite a while now, huh? The parade, we're hoping for an hour and a half. I mean, if we can get enough entries, we, um, we're we just looking to include as many people as we can in that. And of course, Davis Amusements will be um, offering those all-day passes ahead of time, so we'll let everybody know about that. But there's no fee to come to the Fall Festival. Just come on down, have a great time, have a wonderful weekend. Right. There is no fee to get into the park. All of the entertainment is free for you know everyone who is there. Um, Davis Amusement will have, and we will be doing pre-sale tickets for the carnival tickets at a reduced price before the carnival starts. And then local bands are going to be uh, playing on stage, which is something that the Chamber of Commerce really wanted to make sure to do, was to bring this back to local entertainment and cake uh, walks and pie eating contests. Right, and we've even got, um, like as part of the, um, we, we've introduced some new kids games like barrel racing on, um, stick ponies and yeah. things like that. Just really fun things that we try and bring this back home. And the Pony Express is going to be riding in, aren't they? The Pony Express is supposed to be riding in Saturday afternoon. And a book signing will be held all day tomorrow at Carl's Jr. on Highway 160. I've been a pastor for many years, but I'm retired now. I've been writing fantasy fiction since my kids were little mm -hmm. and now retired and and uh, much of my fiction has been published now. I have nine books out, oh. and two new ones just came out in July. The, You're going to be having a book signing tomorrow? I'm having a book signing tomorrow at Carl's Jr. It'll be from 9 in the morning till 7 in the evening, and we'll be featuring a different book each hour. And my wife is a local artist, and she has done artwork that relates to the various books, and there'll be a drawing for her artwork at the end of each hour. And so it'll be a pretty cool time. Wow. So can people buy your books at the book signing? People can buy the books at the book signing, and they're at a reduced price. And during the particular book emphasis, each hour, the book will even be reduced further. And so gives them an opportunity to get it without paying for shipping and all of that sort of thing as well. So you've released a new book? Yeah, we've released two new books. Mm -hmm. The Droll Child and the Healit. Mm -hmm. uh, the Droll Child is a Paleo-Indian fantasy. It goes back to when the Indians came across and into America. And uh, the Healit is a fantasy similar to The Hobbit, mm -hmm. but with mythics that are related to hobbits and mm -hmm. so on. Wow. And uh, those books just came out last month. And so we're emphasizing those books in general. So if people want to purchase them and they can't make the book signing tomorrow, they can still purchase them on Amazon? They can purchase them on Amazon. They can purchase them at barnesandnoble.com. All right. So for our listeners on the radio, tell everybody what your name is. My name is John Edgel. 
Noah Began will be here with your weather when we return. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome at News 46. Today is Tuesday, August 11th. Today we had mostly sunny skies with a high of 100 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 103 degrees. Winds were coming from the south today at 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 24 miles per hour. So we did have some higher winds today. The evening mix today was 7, which is high. Humidity was at 14% today. Sunrise was at 6 o'clock this morning, and the record high back in 1940 was 115 degrees. Well, tonight we'll have mostly clear skies with a low of 72 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 80 degrees. Winds will be coming from the east-southeast at 8 miles per hour with gusts up to 15 miles per hour this evening. Humidity will be at 26%. Sunset will be at 740 this evening, and the record low back in 1948 was 60 degrees. Well, tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 99 degrees and a low of 71 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southeast at 10 miles per hour with the gusts up to 16 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 28 percent. Also, there will be a 20 percent chance of rain tomorrow. Sunrise will be at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and the EV index will be 10, which is very high. For our seven day forecast, again, partly cloudy skies tomorrow and a 20% chance of rain. Those clouds should be clearing up on Thursday. We should have sunny skies through the rest of this seven day forecast. Your high temperatures will be starting off at 99 degrees tomorrow with that 20% chance of rain. And that will be working its way up all the way to 108 degrees, getting hot there on Sunday. And that will start to work its way down to 103 degrees by next Tuesday. Your low temperatures will be starting off at 71 degrees. That will be working its way up to 74 degrees on Saturday and working its way back down to 70 degrees by next Tuesday. Thanks so much, Noah. Friday, August 28th, drummer Johnny Lust, formerly with a whole bunch of bands, including Creature, Bay City Rollers, Snailhead, Missing Persons, and countless others, will rock prompt with his classic rock band, Three Blind Mice, at the Hub on Bell Vista, 8 p.m. till 12 a.m. Once again, that is the 28th. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46 from everyone up here at KPVM-TV and on the radio, KA's Country 95.9. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.